hello guys uh, good uh, morning you are all welcome once again you are welcome to my channel you are welcome to cut feature solution academy in here we give you in-depth information that you required in cartridge farming yeah we are again starting with our topic uh, our lecture for today the free lecture i told you we'll be having in a week we'll be having i'll be throwing out three videos on free lectures here every week as we do on our whatsapp group so we are making it live now for fish farmers on whatsapp group we do free training on a daily basis but uh, so but now we are trying to make it upgraded to make it live for those of you on our youtube page for those of you who are not on our whatsapp page but on our youtube page so we are trying to make this lecture live for you and note this lecture is highly comprehensive because we'll be dashing it here three times in a week so we are going to talk about every part of cartridge farming that you require to be successful so those parts you thought you are having challenges with or those parts you thought we haven't touched note that we are going to touch all areas of cartridge farming because we call this a to z of catfish farming but at present we are starting we are starting at what we call the feed formulation and as you know the feed formulation comprises a lot of topics that we need to touch so after the feed formulation we'll be going to another topic but the feed formulation we are going to talk excessively on the a to z of a feed formulation so today we are starting the episode uh, the episode seven i think we concluded the episode six so we are starting off with the episode seven so episode seven seven episode one to six are basically some of the introduction of uh, feed formulation so we are going to start going in depth about feed formulation so the topic we'll be talking about today is uh, what we call the food protein and the mineral alternation so that is what we'll be talking today once again we'll be talking about the crude protein that means the cp that means the feed cp and the material alternation so that is what we'll be talking today so as you are about we are as we are about to start up uh, this uh, uh, topic uh, once again my name still remain odutola is a your great anchor on this channel but for those of you who have not subscribed to this youtube channel make sure that you do that now make sure that you uh, press on the subscription button and uh, basically press on the notion button this will tell you when we release new videos on this channel and make sure that you share and like and uh, for the uh, so, so for those of you who have uh, subscribed and uh, you have not pressed the notion button this is the high time for you to do that now because this lecture is going to be coming i said once again three times in a week so that once we uploaded the video you can uh, this is an opportunity for you guys to 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 watch it will pump out as a notification, uh, as a notification uh, bell and this you will watch so let's um, go but before we go let's just go on a short break So once again, my name is Tilman Odutola Isabi Odutim. Let us continue with our episode 7, which we titled Crude Protein and Material Alternation. So, moreover, crude protein is one of the most important nutrients in animal feed. It is basis of body structure. Crude protein are one of the most the most important determinant of the body structure of your fish if you don't balance it well the body structure will not give you what you required so so it helps in production of hormones 
and chemicals reaction in the body it and it can also be converted into sugar and fat to compensate for deficiency of other classes of nutrition i will be talking more on this and the implementation protein works like magic in feed nutrition without protein other feed nutri nutrient cannot be used by the body so it is important for you to do what to understand your feed protein knowing your feed protein is one of the best requirement for feed formulation so in this video we'll be dipping more on your protein how the the the, the importance of your protein as we all know that uh, fish has required most of the highest uh, protein source to grow in every animal husbandry you eat you eat, they require more protein so that's why i normally tell people that fish has profit because they grow faster you can make more very fast money on fish because the more protein you give to them the more they this develop their body tissues unlike any other animal husbandry that has lesser protein in fish farming you can start selling from two weeks yeah that means the fryers you can start selling from three weeks so that means just, just that you one once you can start start selling for two weeks i know some people that buy what we call uh pre-fryers and pre-fryers are just tiny they are just two weeks old fishes so i have some people that buys it so for you to buy to produce and you can see who can buy it for two weeks you can see how fast uh, this uh, is done this can give you quick money and for those of us who are trying to go into value chain you of a uh, fish uh, production forgetting to know that they are added up value chain in fish farming not only processing not only making fish as a snacks not make only making fish as a flakes not making not only making fish as a fillet you can be you can tap into value chain of fish by you producing and selling for those people that sell fingerlings you can start producing and start selling for those people who produce juvenile these are an add up additional value chain too as well and as i told you earlier we'll be going into more information about this and i'll be telling you more about marketing so the marketing stuff i'll be telling you the areas the short areas in fish farming you can start making cool money sometimes i normally tell some people you don't need to have a farm to be a fish farmer so that is why when sometimes you see some people comes out out there and tell people that uh, some people are selling maybe they are selling seedlings and telling them you are not producing you don't have farm uh, this and this to me they are value added you don't need to have it nobody can do it all there must be what we call a sedimentation of jobs that means division of labor some people will carry it to a certain place and some people will take it to a certain place they can add up a little money add value into it maybe when they when they come to your place and get a fishes of maybe say prospires and they are selling it for 33 naira the 33 naira if they have push customer some people are born to be marketing some people exploit uh, the opportunity for marketing and they can add up maybe just one error take it one error to another farms that want to rear it to fingerlings to sell so with this to make one error on 100 piece 100 000 pieces you know what that means that person does not really require to have a farm the only thing he needs is to know the models of transporting the fish to the other ma to, uh, to the other farm that will not amount to mortality so that is only what it requires and if we can do that successfully 
he can go to your farm buy the fish and take it to other farm without no stress without even have a water without having a drum without having a bowl to preserve it in his farm so with that he can make his school money and if you can be doing this on a regular basis this will be giving him money but i told you earlier this topic is about crude protein and the alternative so that is what we will be continuing in now so once again if you want to put up your advert on this uh, uh, lecture there's a space for advert uh, page make sure that you contact the number on the screen and what advert do you have if you are into manufacture of uh, manufacturers of uh, feed materials uh, uh, feed materials catfish breeding materials catfish rearing materials you can contact me and i will have to put up your advert and i will talk more about your product to people that needed it because there are a lot of things we needed but we are not making use of it so for you to bring up an ideas i will help you in giving the hardware here so there's a chance for hardware on this uh, lecture protein in feed in fish feed is required to have what we call the cp so anywhere you are seeing what they call in the in fish feed anywhere you see cp it means the crude protein of the concentrate crude protein is the measurement and value of protein in both in both from protein and non protein source in the fish feed catfish need between 35 and 48 percent crude protein in their feed to grow well that i said once again i said catfish need 35 percent to 48 percent in their feed to grow well but note this is the rearing stage for those of us that are producing fingerlings you can add up your protein you can have a protein from 50 to 55 percent if you can build up 60 percent is okay but note much protein in feed concentrate do cause uh do do not advisable true for your fishes it should not be it should not be that much because much protein sometimes do call what we have called the cracker diseases that means their body will be softened the bone will not be stronger and this will make them not make them very strong so this may eventually be causing stress and what we call bone crack which may affect them uh, at a later uh, period so let's continue the bigger the catfish the lower the crude protein needed to grow i told you earlier when your fish when your catfish is small you need a higher cp as the more they are growing the more you begin to drop the crude protein that means when they are juvenile you can give them a crude protein of 45 percent 42 percent 41 percent but when they are getting to uh, maybe uh, jumbo you can reduce it to like 38 percent when they are getting to uh, melange you can reduce it to 38 percent so the the more they are getting bigger the more the reduction of the crude protein so with on this level uh, i'll be saying uh, goodbye to this topic episode uh, seven so watch out for episode eight thank you so much